This is home video of a young Dolly Parton around age 10. It's part of a collection from the family of the late Carl and Pearl Butler, who are well known in the early 60s in country music. Also friends of Carl and Pearl, the legendary Johnny Cash. Long before George and Tammy and Faith and Tim, Carl and Pearl Butler were one of the first couples of country music. The Knoxville natives hit it big with the number one song, Don't Let Me Cross Over, which they recorded in 1962. This week, a new exhibit at the East Tennessee History Center will open telling the story of the Butlers. It will include the Western outfits they wore and Carl's last guitar with a set list taped to it. Carl and Pearl retired from country music in the 1980s. The items in the exhibit are on loan from Carl's brother, whose family still lives in the area. Now, as for Dolly, she spent lots of time with Carl and Pearl and had a close relationship with both of them. They took her under their wings in 1956 when she was just 10 years old and uh, brought her along to appear with the Kaz Walker Show on WIVK Radio and uh, took her to the Opry when she was just a kid, took care of her. She would stay at their apartment in North Knoxville. And uh, she, uh, she helped them a lot towards the end of their lives when uh, they needed help. She paid them back in full. That is precious video right there. The exhibit is titled, They Sang What They Lived. It opens to the public at the Museum of East Tennessee History on Saturday, and it will remain there through mid-August of next year. And tomorrow, as part of First Friday, there is an opening celebration at the History Center, including live music and a screening of the Butler's Home Movies.